I got the sneaking suspicion that we're not giving the people what they want. It's okay, baby. Let's give the people what they want. Okay, so let's talk about the new Joker for Lea Do trailer that just got released. And by the way, this film will be at Venice Film Festival in competition. What does that mean? I'll talk about that in a bit. But let's get into the trailer. Before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 35,000 subscribers is our goal. We got a ton of things we want to talk about this week. We got a ton of trailers just dropped. A new Cuckoo trailer dropped as well. Gonna discuss that also. But let's get into the Joker for Lea Do trailer. Hit that subscribe, hit that notification. Let's get to 35,000. So this film will be out in two months and it'll be out at the Venice Film Festival as well in less than two months, which has us super excited about what this is going to be. But the film, of course, stars Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga as Joker and Harley Quinn. And I am telling you, this new trailer really got me. I was already excited when they first announced this. I was a huge Gaga fan growing up. And now that we have Gaga and the Joker, I enjoy the Joker as well. I know a lot of people don't like the Joker for some reason. It's fine. I like it a lot. But let me tell you, this is definitely one of those movies that I am super, super pumped for. So we pretty much start off this trailer by seeing that the city is kind of debating about the whole Arthur Fleck effect that happened. And it seems that there's going to be this big trial, trial of the century at Gotham, because it seems that people are divisive on how they feel about Arthur Fleck, as some of them see him as a martyr, as a hero. Others see him as a menace and bad for society. So I really like this whole aspect of a city torn apart, a tale of two cities. Could we say that that may be a thing here? I don't know. But we do have a bit of a tease that Harvey Dent will in fact be in the movie. Will we get full on Two-Face? Who knows? But Harvey Dent will be in the movie as you can see from the captions that I had on the trailer. So one of the things we hear Harley say as well here is when I first saw Joker, when I saw you for once in my life, I didn't feel so alone anymore. And I think that's the sentiment for a lot of people in Gotham is that Arthur Fleck gave him this feeling of, you know what? We got to change things here if we want change, you know? And we see that Harley shatters a window and steals a television set. So I'm very curious at how this is going to handle all of that. Now, the film is an Academy Award winning film, first and foremost, the first one. This one's definitely trying to go over there as well to the awards because it will be premiering at Venice, which is a highly prestigious film festival in the fall. And it means it's going to be pretty much push for award season and with an October release date, that's prime time for y'all. And I'm telling you, this film is going to be in competition. If it wins that, you are about to see the race to that Oscar for sure. So we have heard Todd Phillips elaborate on the tone of the movie saying, it's a film where music is an essential element that doesn't veer too far from the first film in that regard. Arthur Fleck is weird and aloof and all these things but he has music in him he has grace to him that informed a lot of the dancing in the first film it didn't feel like a big step here it's different but i think it'll make sense when you see it and we do see that joaquin is belting some notes here as well which i am telling you makes me more excited to see what exactly we're going to get from this performance here. And Gaga herself is really pushing, I think, a very interesting interpretation of Harley Quinn. We've already heard Margot Robbie excited to see what Lady Gaga will bring to this as well. It looks like a lot of the things that I've said before in my first trailer break then, where we have reality, we have fiction, are going to be played around with a lot as we see some scenarios that I just don't think would happen in real life before they would be taken down. I like this aspect where where the Joker's also running away from these other Jokers. But honestly, I really do love the cinematography the most here. There is just something so beautifully crafted in these images. I'm gushing. Maybe you don't like it as much. And that's interesting to me. So let me know what you think about this movie, if you're excited for it or not, because I'm excited. I am. If you're not excited, totally understandable. And yeah, but I'm seeing here that the cinematography is done by Lawrence Schur, who has done other films such as we have... Um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Joker, War Dogs, The Hangover. Seems like somebody Todd Phillips has been working with some time now. So I'm excited to see the rest of this film. And like I said, it looks great. And Joaquin is such a brilliant actor. I think Gaga also is such a great actress. And I like what Todd Phillips did with the previous one. I like that they're trying to veer into a different direction with this one and sort of showcase something different that we've seen before. And I'm sat for it, honestly. So this film will be coming out on October 4th, 2024. It will have its premiere at Venice a month earlier on September 2024. The film has a budget of around $200 million which is 
kind of crazy, but you know, I'm here for it. We'll see if it goes to that billion dollar just as Joker did. Joker in comparison had a budget of 55 million. So I think definitely uh, we saw Joaquin and Todd definitely wanted to make this much more grand and huge, which is just they got a lot of leg room to work with, honestly. On a 55 million budget grossing a billion dollars, they got a lot of leg room with 200 million dollars, right? So I'm excited to see what they're gonna give us with this next film and what the people will think about it. I'm curious. I mean, we had heard the doom and gloom earlier in the year that comic book movies were kind of done. And now we're seeing that Deadpool is projected to open to over 350 million plus at the box office this weekend. It seems that it's alive and well again. Maybe they took a break. Who knows? I know a lot of people try to say that Joker really doesn't fit that comic book uh, vibe, but you know, I still will consider it that. So we'll see what happens. Will we have another billion dollar Joker movie? What did you think about the new trailer? I enjoyed it. I love the cinematography. I love the shots we saw. Gaga, Joaquin, I think they're gonna be great. And I really do think that them releasing this at Venice just means that they know they're going on that Oscar run. So anyways, drop your thoughts, drop your opinions on the trailer, on the movie, on the first movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you going to watch this? Or are you just like, I, I don't care. I just don't care. Let me know in the comments down below. And we will have some more talks about this film once it probably gets closer to Venice, the first reactions, as well as our theories on what could be happening here. So stay tuned for that. This week, stay tuned. We have some videos on Trap. That movie will be releasing next week. We have our theories and opinions about it. So that will be coming out this week. I do have my video on Cuckoo as well coming out today. So stay tuned. The newest trailer just dropped. And I will tell you, watch that trailer. Don't watch the other trailers. That is a trailer to watch. That is a trailer that will get you excited and won't really give away too much of the film, I think. So definitely very excited for all of this new announcements coming. San Diego Comic-Con is this weekend. We will have a ton of things to cover for that. So make sure you got it locked in here. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, stay safe, stay positive. 35,000 subscribers, y'all. That's our big goal for the end of the month. We have less than a week to get to that. And I think we can get close. We probably won't get to 35,000, but I think we can get close. As always, see you later. Stay safe, stay positive. For once in my life, I didn't feel so alone anymore. When you're alone.